What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World and yes, Team of the Week Lamar Jackson will be coming soon, probably right after you watch this video because I'm trying to make it so that it's right there so that you guys know. Yesterday we all predicted that he would possibly be one of the cards. We were pretty accurate uh, with some of the numbers. I told you guys he would be at least a 90 speed overtaking Vic. That was correct. I told you that all of his short, medium, and deep throw accuracy would be like low level to mid level 80s which is good i wasn't sure about the play action but 86 is a very good number for him and then he has a 90 throw under pressure so he's going to be a pretty good card 88 throw on the run the only issue that i have with it is that he has a 99 throw power i mean what did i say 99 okay yeah i've been drinking at 85 throw power why would i say 99 i don't know what i'm talking about but that's neither here nor there you guys pretty much is like yo what is this, is this guy serious what are you talking about yeah 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 don't worry about it bro drugs are a bad thing but don't worry about that aspect of this situation this is what i want you guys to focus on the team of the week now nothing else has been released as of now but again by the time you guys watch this video you may have more information but this is what i want to kind of go over and address i told you guys all right in certain cases i'm going to tell you my best recommendation i told you guys to sell michael vick most of you guys sold him at three point whatever million and you guys made out okay some of you guys are like yo i'm sticking with vick whatever like that now this throw power is really really bad but let me just explain something to you about the way that this actually works in this game he's going to play and be able to throw the ball a certain amount of yards that other players probably won't be able to do it with the same throw power just because he's a newer card and he's souped up. So take a look at what Mike Vick's price has already done. It's going from the weekend being 3.4 down to 1.86. It's probably gonna go about to like 1.5. Now you might be saying, all right, but, but you know, he's not as good, he doesn't have the throw power, stuff like that. The 92 throw power, I understand that that's a big deal, but you gotta remember, when you came up just the basic stuff, you can get his throw power uh, for Lamar Jackson from an 85 to like an 88, 89, doing like very, very minor things with upgrades. And that's similar to a lot of the really, really good quarterbacks in the game right now, the Tom Brady's, some of the other cards have throw power like that. So you may not notice that big of a difference unless you're like me and you wanna lob the ball deep you may not notice the difference with that. So I just wanna go through some things as I do my daily objectives with you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are okay with that. If you are, say yes. All right, that was a joke because I obviously can't hear you. So I bought my pack um, for our daily objective. I'm gonna go over this again. Every single day that I'm able to make a video and let you guys understand that even when you do your daily objectives, you have to make sure that it's registering. It is very, very important. Right now we're on 51. You're, after we do two games, it still won't register. I don't even think they gave me my yards. Um, did they even give me my yards for my weekly mission yet? I've been throwing uh, yard, uh, throwing passes in the, in the solos and they haven't even been giving me my yards on it. So I don't know what EA Sports is doing, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. Make sure that your stuff is registering, bro. Go back into games, make sure that you see exactly what's happening because it can become a very, very annoying situation. I'm just letting you guys know that because when you start missing out on things and then it delays everything, it gets really, really bad. Always remember, when you jump from certain levels le leading up to 50, you get double the daily engagement. So you'll actually complete your daily engagement and then you'll certain levels, I think, what is it, like every 10, you'll get an additional daily objective. So be, ve be aware of that, that you have to go back and then do another one because many people have missed out on that as well. All right, so I just want to continue to touch base on that. But now let's get back to Lamar Jackson. Um, is he, a, is he a card that you guys should probably sell Vic for now? In my opinion, probably not. Because like, well, it all depends. Because you're not gonna get, like I said, it depends. If you've played with Vic, the only time that I've actually played with Vic is inside of the solo. So I told you, I was very underwhelmed with what he was doing. So I don't really care about Michael Vic like that as opposed to other years when I was very, very excited to actually get his card. I don't really care about it as much. So you guys can see that I haven't really been going crazy about it. Um, it's no real particular reason for why. It's just like I said, I don't I don't run around a lot. Sometimes I want to do it, but I think I, I'm good enough to be able to do it with Steve Young. Like the escape artist works very, very similar uh, regardless of who the quarterback is. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if we're gonna go take a look at Lamar Jackson's other card as well and kind of give you guys an idea of what you guys can look forward to, um, you know, going forward with the game. I'm gonna do a third one and see if it registers for three, because usually you have to do three, but, so I'm gonna try again. 
to get my daily objective done so that I don't have to come back into a solo. So we should have 52. If we do not, um, that might be an issue. We're gonna have to go back into another game. But again, like for me, I, I'm very, very comfortable with Steve Young. That 90 speed is scary though. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, that 90 speed on Lamar Jackson is gonna make a lot of people wanna break their PS4 or Xbox or maybe the possibly um, their PC. But at the end of the day, we, you guys are gonna have to probably start playing a little bit more nickel, dollar, things like that, and have spies out there in order to kind of counteract some of the weird things that are going on. Uh, just to be absolutely clear with it. All right, let me see. They got one, two. We got our daily objective. That's great. But we got to make sure, because like I said, even with those two games, typically you don't get it. They just love giving me 2,500. Like, th this is starting to get real annoying. Like, EA Sports packs and, you know, the coins and, like, it's just weird, dog. Like, why are you giving me 2,500 coins on that level every day? Like, that's like the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what they're doing, but it doesn't matter. None of that matters. As long as you guys are pulling 750 every day, don't really matter at this point. Bro, did they give me any yard? Okay, they gave me 42 yards now. So I don't know. Yesterday it wasn't registering at all. Now they gave me the 42 yards. Let me see what this thing's doing. All right, so I got my 52. All right, so I did the three instead of doing two because if I would have probably done two, it would have stayed at 51. So that's all done. Our daily objective is good. We're continuing to go along the lines of being able to get free stuff. Everybody's happy. Now, Let's go over to um, Lamar Jackson's original card because this is another question that I've been getting asked about on a regular basis. Jemiah, it's no way that they can upgrade his card that much because in previous years, they wouldn't go too far over the overall. Let me just point out some things to why they jumped into a 90 overall. This year is very, very different. If a player plays to a certain capability, he's going to get an isolated card for that specific thing, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Um, fantasy football, highest rated player, all that stuff, you are going to get whatever the card is based on that. So he actually jumped from a 76 to a 90, which is huge. This is a huge step for Madden overall. And I know a lot of you guys that are fan of, you know, fans of the game, uh, like myself, you wanna be able to get players when they are hot, like bruh. This dude just went out there and he balled. I want that card. I want the card that he deserves. Now. For our meantime, because remember, a Andrew Luck, they gave him a 92 a 92 overall tribute. I don't believe for the time being, you're gonna get a lot of cards that are over that. I think the 90 is being very, very generous. Also, I don't think that Lamar Jackson is the limited based on the card that they showed, so he might be a hero. So we gotta see who the limited is because obviously, at this point, we now know that we can't add training a week later to upgrade the limiteds. But even with the limiteds, there are still no power-ups for those cards. So say, for instance, you get this 90 overall uh, Team of the Week Lamar Jackson, right? Basically, you're going to get the Tier 3 chemistries at the 90, okay? You can add whatever you want, and that's just that card. So when you're ready to get rid of that card, you would then, you know, go ahead, sell them, whatever, and that would be it. There would be no need for any extra power-ups, all the other stuff like that. You just have your card, he has all the stuff, and then when you're ready to get rid of him, it's no, like, rage and you're losing training, other than the training that you put into getting the uh, abilities and the X-Factors, which I still do not like, uh, that you don't get a refund for that, because things like evasive on your running back, it's so expensive, dude. Like, they gotta give you something back. Like, 1,500 training, you just throw that away? I don't like that. But they've been able to, um, you know, adjust certain things and give us back certain perks so maybe that's something that we could deal with in the future but looking at all of this it's kind of weird like i told you guys when i was predicting it yesterday you know it's very very clear that they were going to do certain things and make the card higher which is why i knew that the numbers i was kind of you know estimating would be there on the card because if this was Madden 19, he wouldn't be a 90 overall. They would give him like an 85, like maybe an 84 probably. He would be part of the set and that'll be it. So those are certain things that we have to look forward to. So many of you guys that have been asking about Ezekiel Elliott, certain cards like that, obviously he was holding out. He didn't come out and really go crazy. So he's not getting anything possibly this week. But we know he's going to have that breakout game. They're going to have to give him a 90, 92, whatever uh, for that team of the week because he's going to have a week that's crazy. Most of these players are going to have crazy weeks. Now, because of Monday Night Football, they weren't really able to kind of give you everything because now they got to work overtime and figure out if anybody played really well, which brings us back to like Josh Jacobs. If you guys have that rookie premiere, you are going to get that free upgrade because Josh Jacobs was unbelievable and they have to increase his speed. The guy, his card is trash can status, but they're going to make it a lot better because that young man went out there and balled and just took care of the Broncos accordingly. Uh, so that's going to be something that's going to be adjusted as well. But again, 
if you're on if you're on the fence right now and you have Steve Young and you haven't changed like myself, I don't think that there's necessarily a rush. All right, I, I just don't think so. If you guys feel that way, you guys can feel free to go ahead and experiment. But he is going to drive the price of Michael Vick down, which means that even though Michael Vick is where he is right now, he's not really that main guy no more, which is really weird because usually when Michael Vick drops, it's all about Michael Vick. Me personally, I do not like left-handed quarterbacks, but because Steve Young was a guy with escape artists and you guys are like, yo, G. Maya, you got to get him. You guys were right too. Because I've actually been able to avoid a lot of sacks and different things just because I have escape artists. But I want to be very, very clear. Would I try Lamar Jackson? It's a possibility. Because that 85 throw power, the only thing that I would have to probably do is I would have to get some Madden passing and um, probably put, go deep on the players and get his throw power up. And you can clearly see the 89 throw power of Steve Young. It technically is in the same threshold. Some of you guys are like, yeah, bro, but it's different. No, it's not. The 85 to 89 has been proven to give you pretty much the same exact thing. So I don't, like I said, I've practiced it because when you look at the throw power of Aaron Rodgers at an 86, pretty much that 85, 86, Aaron Rodgers throws the ball like exactly the way Steve Young does, if not further. And you, and that could be because he's a little bit more inaccurate. So when you throw the ball deep, it might lead the receiver, but Aaron Rodgers actually throws the ball very, very well in this game. If you guys don't still have him, I kind of put the video out a while ago, but um, he definitely gets the ball down the field. So I think after 89, when you get to 90, like obviously, but I don't, I don't think, I know that these are the way the tiers work. 90 to 94, that's going to be a whole nother tier, but I still believe that 85 to 89 is very, very similar. So Lamar Jackson is giving you a lot of stuff, but Michael Vick gets that 92 throw power. So he can run around like an absolute idiot and then wing it down the field 50 yards like, like with the flick of the wrist. Well, maybe not the flick of the wrist, but when you're on the run, for some reason, they throw the ball a lot faster with the release than they do when they're standing in the pocket because some of the releases are very, like, they're not accurate with the way the quarterback is. Even though in the game, Aaron Rodgers has the fastest release, he still sometimes winds up. And it's kind of weird. And, um, you know, I think they should probably fix that. But we'll see what happens uh, in, in regards to that. But that's what I'm, I just want to make it very, very clear with you guys that I believe that if you have Steve Young right now, it, oh, the only way you really try Lamar Jackson out, because remember the thresholds, I think it goes 80 short, 85 mid, 90 deep. He doesn't really meet some of the thresholds, but Steve Young really th he throws accurate passes. And it could be because of the abilities that I have. The roaming dead eye is one of them that makes sure that he kind of puts the ball on the money. But we have to wait to see how it transpires. But if you guys want to go ahead and give him a gander with Lamar Jackson, let me know about it, bro. Like if he's that raw and you can run around, because that could that would probably make me have to look at using other playbooks and seeing if we could go ahead and just run around like idiots with Lamar Jackson, just do whatever we want. Because that's pretty much where we're gonna be headed. All right. So that's something that I definitely wanted to address. Now, as far as you heard me bring up Josh Jacobs. Uh, many of you guys are asking about the Rookie Premiere program, right? If you guys stay throughout the video, you will get the information right now. For those of you guys that come and watch the video, and then you see people in the comments still asking about Rookie Premieres, you can let them know. Watch the entire video. All right, so look. When you look at the Rookie Premieres, right? He was one of the Rookie Premieres that we were eligible to get for free that's going to upgrade throughout the year. Obviously, if you guys watch the game, you will know that it's no way possible that EA keeps him at a 78 speed. All of these numbers have to be changed. He has to go to at least an 85 speed because when you see the way this guy moves, he doesn't move like a power back. And I think that's his archetype, right? Yeah, he's not a power back, bro. Like he, maybe he is, but he didn't, that dude is very, very agile. He's very, very quick, like, like foot quick, like foot speed. I don't know what they're gonna do with this guy, but this guy's a hybrid. And I don't know if it's if you're gonna be able to keep him under that archetype. I'm gonna have to put a question out to EA Sports about that because this kid is gonna be something special. He really is gonna be something special. And I, I really enjoyed watching him play. So you we, we're gonna pro this guy's speed is definitely gonna go to 85. He's gonna make it so that I could probably get rid of that power up Bo Jackson and just get some of my training back and keep it moving. Also, that catching has to be increased. My man can catch, so I don't wanna hear nothing about that. And those are just some of the things that I wanted to touch on before I let you guys go. Uh, there should be a lot of increases in those rookie premieres. Um, you had to get them in Madden 19. There is no way now to get them. 
okay there is absolutely no way if you didn't play madden 19 and have it completed before the start of madden 20 you cannot get them but for those of us that were able to get them those of you guys that have been riding with me for a while we all have them we're going to be able to enjoy those free elites coming very very soon i'm very very excited about team of the week let me know in the comments if you are as well let me know more by subscribing clicking the notification bell and let me know that you did that in the comments as well Thank you guys so much for watching. Always remember, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch, all at Gmyers World. You guys go ahead and have a great day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.